Let's get it started. Let's get it started. We're going to talk about something that is an extension of our with an extension of our with class. class. Did you learn what we did last class? Did you? What we did last class? <laughs> internal forces. Internal forces in here. But just at a point. We did internal forces just at a point. So you know how to find internal forces at a point. Internal forces at a point. You know how to get internal forces here or here or here. But the and, and we uh, but the internal forces change all along the member. So now we are going to learn how to find the functions of the internal forces. So the, the internal force is changing, changing, changing. So we're going to find the function of the internal force. So we have the variation of the force all along the length. So we're going to find the function of x of internal forces. So we can, we will be able to see um, the internal force just given a, 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 a coordinate here, say, what is the internal force at x equals 1, or at x equals 1.3, or x is equal to 5. So we have the function, and we will be able to make a graph of the internal force all along the end. And the way to do that is, well, you, you have to know how to find it at a point, and we say, okay, give me the internal forces here, at uh, uh, 0.8 meters from 0.8, and you can do it, right? But you need this distance in order to find it, right? Now it's exactly the same, but instead of putting a value to the distance, like one day for the forces here, now we put it as a function of x. So we have the internal force with an x involved there, so you just need this x for whatever value you want. It's that easy. Easy. So, it's, it's better to just show you with an example because the, that's, that's the whole theory behind it. We are going to do the exactly the same, but instead of putting a value here for a specific point, we put x. So we make a cut. We make a cut here at a point at a distance x. So this is x up to the section. So, so what we do is we make a cut like we did last class, right? We draw our free body diagram of that little piece. We, oh well, we have to find the, the reactions first because in this free body diagram we need to find the force here, right? In order to do the equilibrium of this little piece. So let's do first reactions. Reactions. Well, for this example, it's really easy, right? What are the reactions? Two and a half and two and a half, right? If you don't see it, you make summation of forces. So summation of moments at this point, then you have ay times four minus five times two, and we solve for the x. Do you need to do that? Anybody needs? Mm -hmm. No? You know? Yeah, really? Okay, okay. Oh, do it? Okay, let's do it really quickly, really quickly. Um, so we have here our AY. So now we can come here and put this value for Ay here, 2.5. That will be the reaction here, right? And then we put the, the internal forces that we need to find. Always put these, for, these forces in the positive direction. If you don't put in the positive direction, your equation is going to have an, a negative sign involved in there. So everything will be negative and you, won't, you, will, you will not know. So what is the, if we're going to put 
shear here, what is the direction for cross speed? Going down or going up? You have to learn that those conventions like you in your heart. What is the convention? You 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 get the little the little square at the end, a little square at, at the end, right? And if it rotates due to the chair clockwise, then it's positive, right? So I have to put it like this. So this rotates like that, right? So this this chair has to be like this, all right? I'm gonna erase it. I have to memorize that thing. So this will be chair. I'm gonna call it chair of X because this distance is gonna be X. Now moment. What is the direction for a moment here to put it in a positive direction, clockwise or counterclockwise? Hmm? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Hmm? Down? Up? Tell me clockwise or counterclockwise because I don't know. It should, it should be like this or like this. Make it happy. Exactly. Which one makes it happy? The one on the left or on the right? This one makes it happy, right? Okay, so that's the one in the positive direction. So I put here the moment, I'm gonna call it moment at X. And then I have the chair and the moment in the positive direction. Okay, we can get rid of this. Okay, and you, you guys know how to do this already, right? All right. Now, the function of the chair and the moment uh, it has a discontinuity here, right? As soon as you put this, you understand that if you calculate it, the forces, the internal forces in this region is basically a smooth function because there is no, like, like no, nothing important is happening. Nothing is happening between this point and this point. So this diagram is going to be the same at any point here, right? But if I make a cut here, when I do this diagram, it's going to have this force here, so the, the equation is going to be different in this section and, and in this section, right? You understand that, right? So you can only do the equation for a given portion that doesn't have any discontinuity. Every time you see a force or a moment or something that changes the conditions of the free body diagram, that's a discontinuity for the equation, so you have to get another equation. The equation for this section is going to be different than the equation for this. Right? So this equation that I'm going to get here is only valid for this part. As soon as I get here, I have to make this, uh, put this into my diagram. It's going to be into my equation. So I, I better put a, a note about that here. I'm going to put here um, um, for zero less than x less than two, right? These equations are only between zero and two. And the equations that you have to do are summation of forces in the y direction to get the shear, and I'm gonna do positive going down, so my shear is positive. My shear is positive, is here, and it's gonna be positive also if I put this but this one is not that important. You can put plus or minus, we get the same thing. Remember, that's what happened with this. You do whatever you want, you will always get the same result. But this one is very important. Okay. So you get what? You tell me. Vx. Vx, V of x. Minus 2.5. Equals zero. That's it. So from here you get v of x equals 2.5. Okay. That's the question. Let's continue. Summation of moments about point a at, at x, the section at x has to be equal to zero. I'm going to do positive in this direction. So how that's going to be? Uh, moment of x. Oh, you tell me. You, you can tell me. What else? 
Hmm? Hmm? So mention of moments about this point. We're gonna put here x. I said moments about this point that is at x nearest from here. Uh, so it will be this moment and this force, right? Yeah. That is at x distance from the point. This force and this distance. Okay. Hmm? So it will be minus, right? Yes. Two point five times x equals to zero then equals 2.5x, right? Right, that's it, no? Go on. Okay, Let, let's do the other, the other part. But this, these are the equations of shear and moment for this section. If you put x equals to zero, you will get the, more, the, the, the shear here. If you get x equals to any value, you get you will get the shear in the in that section. Same thing for the moment. You replace x for whatever value between zero and two, and you get the moment of the shear in any point. We're going to do the graph next. Right? Let's do this equation, and then we have all the equations. We proceed to do the, the graphs. So how will be the situation for the other part? So we make a cut here at any any place here. And we make that that cut here. So what forces we have to to put? We have to put this and this five, and then we have to put the dimensions here. This is two, and this is x. And we put the the shear and the force in the positive direction. What direction shall I put the shear here? Hmm? Going down. Same thing. Positive is going down. Uh, we do the same considerations as before, and you will get the same thing. V of x and moment. Same thing. Moment of x. Right? And we do the the same uh, equations of equilibrium. You see the same thing, the whole course is the same thing. Free body diagram, equations of equilibrium, and, and, and that's, it. that's it. So let's do. Summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. I'm gonna do positive going down, and then I got. You, you tell me what I do, it's so, so easy. You can tell me what? V of x, right? What else? I, I, I'm gonna go left from left to right so I go in order and I don't miss anything, right? Minus 2.5, right? Mm -hmm. Plus 5. Equals to 0. So V of x equals to uh, 2.5 minus 5. So V of x equals to minus 2.5, right? And summation of moments in the in the section x. Uh, that's why I put the x here, and I do positive this direction. I have moment of x minus 2.5 times x. What else? Plus, uh, plus right? Plus plus five. Times what? Two. The distance from five to the section. X minus two. Two. X. Yeah, X minus two. X minus two. This distance here is X minus two. <laughs> All right, X minus two. Any more moments? No more moments. This doesn't produce any moment, right? And that's why you always do summation of moments about this point. Because if you don't use this point, you have to make, put this into the equation. And imagine this is the whole equation. You don't want to put a whole equation inside this equation. It would be crazy. The moment produced by the chair about this point is zero. So you don't have to include it here. 
important, very important. So equal to zero. So m of x, let's do this very slowly, equals to, um, this goes positive, 2.5x, this goes negative, 5 times x minus 2, so equals to 2.5x minus 5x plus 10, so equals to minus minus 2.5x, right? Plus 10. That's the moment of x. Let me put like a little, a little underline here. This is important. This is important. This is important. This. Those are my my equations for for a moment for this section here. a moment for this section. Right? No. Now let's let's do the graph. Let's do the graph. How we do the graph? This is such a simple graph. But anyway, we're gonna do it really. No, no, it's so it's so easy. It's so so simple. Let, let's graph this equation. Let me try to make every time you do these equations or these graphs. I mean, you have to put a graph of the of the original beam on top. Um, copy, paste, and then it's a good idea to put here the value of the forces involved, so the reactions 2.5, 2.5, the equation, let's bring the equations here. Those are the equations that we're going to graph. And let me put some lines here for the graphs. So I'm going to do these equations first. Equation of shear here. Shear is in kilonewtons in this case. So it is zero, zero, one, two, Three minus one minus two minus three. Now this is for zero less than x less than two. Right? For shear. Any value of x that I use here is going to give me 2.5, right? Any value. So the question is really easy. 2.5 for everybody. Two point five. And now the equation for the second part is this this equation here. And the moment will be this one. So let's do the shear for the other part. This, this is for two less than x less than less than four. So shear for any value between two and four is minus two point five. So minus 2.5 will be something like over here. Minus 2.5 will be something like over here. So minus 2.5. So you can draw these lines here if you want to make it like nicer. And that's the shear diagram for these two equations. Can you see it on your graph? Right. Now, moment. Uh, moment. Moment is equal to 2.5 times x. 
So it's a, 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 a straight line, right? Straight line with a, a slope of 2.5. So if I go a straight line with a slope of 2.5, it would be 1 meter, 2.5 kilonewtons meter. So let me put some scale here. Let's say this is uh, 1, 2, 3. No, uh, that's not going to be enough because how, how much is the moment at uh, 2? The moment at, well, the moment at x equals to 0 is equal to 2.5 times 0 is equal to 0. So that will be the first point here, right? Moment, moment in kilonewtons meter. And let's put the moment at x equals 2. It will be equals to 2.5 times 2, uh, 5, right? So th that, and that will be the maximum value. So if I put this is 2, this is 4, this is 6, 5 will be here. So it, since it's a straight line, I can do just those two points and make a straight line between those two points. That will be the moment. And this is 5, right? And if I do the equation for this other part, what happens if I do moment at x equals 2? What do I get? Minus 2.5 times 2 plus 10. So that will be minus 5 plus 10 equals 5, right? So the same value, no? the same value, so it starts here, and then it starts here, it starts right there where we finish this side, it's right there, and then what about moment at x equals 4, equals to minus 2.5 times 4 plus 10, what is 2.5 times 4? 10, right? Minus 10 plus 10 equals 0, so it goes back down to 0. So I can do this line run. All right? Good. Well, this part that I'm doing here is just making a graph with an equation. We should be able to do that, but we can put it in Excel. Right? You want that Yeah, I, I am trying to make the graph of this equation. That's all I want to do. Uh -huh. uh, and so I replace x by 2 to create this point and x by 4. Uh, 4, which is this point, x2 and x4, so I get at this point and this point, and I draw a straight line because I see that this is a straight line, right? Mm -hmm. Right? You can always use this like the slope is minus 2, 5, and the intercept is 10, so you will put um, uh, this 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so you put this, mm -hmm. and then draw a, a, a slope of 2.5 negative, you will get this line, but this one is not valid for this because this is only valid for two to four, right? Mm -hmm. Just make well, the easiest way is to put values to the x, to the x uh, coordinate and get the values for the moment and the chair and make the drawing. Right? <laughs> question of let's do another another example so I can see what is uh, any question, that's it. Everything you know already. How to make a fully valid diagram, how to make a fully valid diagram how to set up the equations of equilibrium, that's it, that's all you need. Well, Can you do an example for more courses? Of course, we are going to do many, many examples. No, no many, time is so short. But wait, wait, no, I'm not going to do that kind of example. This is not a good method for a lot of courses. No, no it's off. So you're going to make it no, no, good. this is good for, uh, for beams that have uh, like one equation for the whole beam or maximum two. If you have another force, then you have three, right? So it becomes so annoying, right? So I'm going to teach you another method when you have many forces. Oh. But this is just for one equation for the whole beam for shear, one equation for the whole beam for moment. Or at the most two. Nobody does more than 
more than more than uh, more than two forces here or something really good that requires more than two segments. If more than two segments, no, 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 that's not a good measure. So um, don't worry about that. I'm gonna teach you another method when you have many forces. Okay, let's do another problem. How about that one? Reactions. Reactions. Do you guys know how to do reactions? Do you know? Do you know how to do reactions? Reactions. Reactions. You need the reactions, right? Yeah. yeah because we need, at least we need this one. But you know what? It's good to do this one because every diagram, when you do the diagram, it starts at zero and then has to come back to zero. So if you put this reaction, you can check that really goes back to zero at the end. Okay, do the reactions, you do the reactions. Do I have to do the reactions? Yes. Oh. Oh. No, no, I'm gonna copy the reactions and you, and you, and you check that at home because at this point you should be able to do reactions already. There you have your reactions. But let's review here really quickly. This is your free body diagram, right? You replace the, to calculate reactions, you have to replace distributed loads by concentrated loads. So this is a triangle, that's what I call this T, is one half of this times this, or this times this, right? The, the, the area of the triangle. So it's 27 kilonewtons here at two thirds or one third, right? Right? So summation of moments about point A will be this times 9 minus 27 times this distance, which is 6. That gives you 18 here. And then summation of moments about this will be a, 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 about point B, A, a, a Y times 9, this force, and this one, 27 times 3. And you solve for A, Y to get 9. And, and you check, right? 27 going down has to be equal to this plus this. What is 18 plus 9? 27. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. All right. This is going to be easier because it's just one, one equation. You see, there is no discontinuity here. It's just one continuous function of load here. So you will have just one equation for shear, one equation for, for moment. It's going to be easier. Half the work. So my diagram, free body diagram. You cut anywhere you want. You put your forces. What forces you put? Well, you put this one, which is nine. No. You put your 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 triangular triangular force. Oops. You put the dimensions that you know, for example. Why do I put here? What do I put here? What do I put here? What do I write here? Hmm? Like nine No, nine is not the way I put here. This is my cut. Oh, let me help you. I am doing a cut here, right? I am doing a cut here. So this is what? This is 9 minus x from here to here. What is this? Hmm? Hmm? X. X. I do the cut at a distance x. So it's a, it's a cut anywhere from 0 to 9. You put anywhere. How do you call anywhere? X. Right? You don't know the distance. It's any distance from here to here. We call it x. Okay, so now I need, I'm going to put the, the cheer, the positive, so that will be this, cheer at x, moment at x, and if I want to do the summation of forces in the, in the y direction, it will be v 
So let, 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 me, let me start. Let me start here. Let me get started with the equation. The equation will be, and this equation is for the whole beam, so I'm not going to put from 0 to 9. It's for the whole beam, so don't, don't put those, those things. Summation, summation of forces in the y direction equals to 0. I'm going to say positive going down, so I have the direction of the shear, and then I have. You tell me what? V of x, what else? Hmm? Nine. Minus nine, right? Yeah. Minus nine because I said positive going down and nine is going up. What else here? This load, right? This load, I have to put it here going down, so it's going to be positive. It's going to be positive here, but how, how do I put this load in here? In this equation, how do I put this load? Hmm? I, I, I have to calculate this load, right? It's the area of the triangle. I have to calculate the load. Right? It's the one half of this times this, right? So one half of x times this. And what is this? What is this intensity of the load here? Why six? Why six? Six is here, right? But here. Mm, uh, we have to some kind of find a value here that is a function of x. Right? Right? So it's kind of like what we have here is we want to give give it a name. This intensity load here. We should call it W of X, right? Is the intensity of the load at X meters from the point A here. So how do I get this? Well, I know that it's six nine. So how much is at X? It's gonna be. Let's let's do it here on the side. What is? Let's put here like it's gonna be a force, let's call it uh, from the triangle, the triangle at x, this t of x is going to be one half of the base times the height. The height is w of x. Let, let me put it like that, w of x. And where is w of x? It's a straight line. It's a straight line that starts at zero, goes all the way to six at nine. So it's just a slope times x. The slope is six over nine, right? Six over nine times x, right? That's the way you see it. It's a straight line. This value here is this is straight line. That's a straight line that has a slope of 6 over 9. That's the slope of this straight line. So that's the slope here, 6 over 9. Times x plus 0 because it starts at the intercept is 0, right? If you don't want to see it like this, let me show you another way to see it. You have this triangle. I'm going to erase it. I have this triangle. This is 6. This is 9. And then I have this one. This is the one that I want, W of x, and this is x, right? Mm -hmm. So I can say here, 6 over 9 is equal to W of x over x, right? So in here, come on, move. W of x is equal to 6 times x over 9. 6 over 9 times x, right? The same value that we have here. That's another way to see it if you want. To whatever way you think is better, but like this is the, the more mathematical way to see this. This is a straight line with a slope of 6 over 9. So the equation of a straight line is, is y equals mx plus b. The slope is 6 over 9 and b is 0. That's another way to see it. Okay? All right, I'm going to erase now. Erase.
Okay, continue our equation. So, uh, t plus t. So, my t is equal to t of x is equal to 1 half of x times w of x, which is 6 over 9x. So, this is equal to 3 over 9 is 1 over 3, right? This is 1 over 3x squared, right? Agree, everybody? This is the area of this triangle. The area of this triangle is 1 third of x squared. The area of the triangle. So that was goes in here. <laughs> I guess that's it, right? Three forces equals to zero. So V of X equals to nine minus one third of X square. Equation of the chair. Now, summation of moments about point X equals to zero, positive like this. M of X, what else? Minus nine times X. Now, what else? This times this, right? Yeah. This force times this distance. The force is one third of, and positive or negative? Positive. positive. Oh, the force is one third x squared and multiply by what? Nine. 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 Times this distance, this distance. What is this distance? Let me put it right here so you see it better. What is this distance? What is this distance? Hmm? What? What, what is this distance? Huh? Nine minus six. What? What is, what is this six? What, what is, what? Wait, wait a minute. What is, what is, what? Is, what? This is a triangle, right? And the center of gravity is one third from here or two thirds from here, right? Why, why do you think of, why do you don't say that? <laughs> Why? You know. you know that, right? You know it, right? You know it, you know it. Yeah. Yes. I know. Do you know that the, in, in a triangle, this is in the center of gravity, and the center of gravity of a triangle is two thirds from the from the apex here, or one third from the base here, right? Right? You, you did that last exam, or you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> well, the answer is one third of this distance. Can you tell me that to put it in here? What is one third of this distance? What is this distance? X. X. What is one third of X? One X over three, right? I don't know. I, I said it, right? I said it. I didn't want it to say. <laughs> Times one third of X, right? Right? <laughs> no, don't cry. <laughs> so let's make this a little prettier. So, ah, equals to zero, right? Yeah. No more forces, no more forces. Equals to zero. So this will be, this goes positive to the other side, nine x. And this goes negative, one over nine x cubed. I think that's what it is, okay? That's the equation, that's the equation. All right, now let's, let's make a graph. Remember, every time you do one of those equations, you put a graph uh, of the original beam on top. Let me put it down here. Copy. Paste. Okay, let's see if we can make it here. What happened? 
No, no, no. This, when you replace this by this constant previous law, that's just to find the reactions. Okay, so on the graph we wouldn't have to have like... No, no, no. no. Okay. You put the original law, because this is the law that is actually on the beam, and that's what is going to produce the shear and the moment. The other is just a replacement to make it easier to do the calculations for, for the reactions. Okay. I will do a little a little thing here in Excel. You can do it by hand, right? You do here X, V, and M, right? And then um, X. I, I will put a few a few points here. I don't know. Uh, Every, every minute, I, I have Excel, I can do a million points, right? I can, I, if I'm doing it by hand, I will do like five points at the most. But I have Excel. So I go zero, zero to nine, right? Then I put the equation for the cheer. What is the equation? The equation is equal to nine, nine minus one third of X is this cell here, the square, uh, enter. Then I have all the values in one click and the moment will be equals to nine X, so nine times X minus one over nine times X cube. If I do control enter, I get, oh, sorry, what did I do wrong? But X instead of H. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. and this is, X is actually, I have to put the, the cell here, this one. Set like that. I should do it, right? Let me put fewer, fewer uh, decimal places here. Just two digits would be more than enough to do the graphs. We won't have this many uh, digits. What? For the same question, but we won't have to look, uh, have that many points, I guess. No, 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 no. By hand, you use four, five points at the most. Just to make it able to do, but we are going to do it in Excel, so actually I'm not going to use that. Let's do it here in Excel. Let's do it here in Excel. So you will do this graph. Insert a graph like this, right? Something like this. That will be our graph for the for the chair, right? And what I can do is I can copy I can copy this into the other into the other graph and I can put it here. All right. Right, and let's do the other one. That will be the other one, right? This will be the, we're almost done with this. Okay. Those will be the graphs. Chair, kilonewtons, and moment, kilonewtons, meters. Right? Just one last thing. 
you want to have this very complete well I, I would i would do this i just complete this graph with this line here and this line here you see that this is 18 here i don't know if you can see it but this is here 15 20 this is 18 right look at the 18 and then if you go up 18 you get back to zero see and the moment starts at zero and it ends at zero. So every time you see those diagrams, you just start here at zero and go back to zero. And you have to start at zero and you have to end up at zero. And the other interesting point is this one right here. It's very important point. It's the maximum moment. Very important. So it's good to know how much is this moment and where is that moment. Where is where is the course here? What is that from here? Because this is a very critical point in the beam. You have to reinforce the beam very very important to reinforce it here to be able to hold this moment. So where is this location and how much is this moment? How can you find that? Mm -hmm. We have the equations, right? We have the equations. This maximum moment always occurs when this is zero. See? And we will analyze that better next next class. This is almost done. So let's finish by calculating this, and then we analyze more uh, the properties of these graphs next class. Let's finish by um, calculating that. Here we have the equation here. So this is the equation of shear. We 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 will know better next class. But let me tell you for now that the maximum moment. Maximum moment is where chair is zero. So if you solve this for chair equals zero, so you will say uh, V at um, M max, something like that, is equal to zero. And the equation of the chair is one minus one third of X squared. So you solve for X, X equals to, um, this goes minus 9 to the other side, right? Times minus 3, right? The square root. So x will be uh, plus or minus the square root of 27, right? So it's equal to plus or minus 5.19. You understand that this is a parabola here that goes like this. So you have this 5.9, 5.19. This is 519, and there is another here in minus, no? This is the, the parabola like that. Those are the two roots. We are not interested in this one here. We are interested in this one here, 5.19. So we found the value. This value is 5.19. That's the location of the maximum moment here, maximum moment. How can I find the value of that moment? Can anybody tell me how can I find the value of this moment? Just plug that in. Just plug that in here, right? Right? Just plug that in there. So moment max is equal to moment at x equals 5.19. So equals to 9 times 5.19 minus 1, 9, 5.19 cube. Moment max equals to 31.2 kilonewtons meters. Beautiful, 31.2 kilonewton meters. Beautiful, every time that you do a chair, a moment diagram, you should put things like that, maximum moment, super important, and the location where the chair is, is um, zero. And these values here, put these values. So here you put nine, here you put 18. You put here nine. minus 18 you you show the the most important values the the moment max here right 
The most important, the salient values, that's what I call the salient values of the diagrams. And super important, never forget the, the beam on top. This has to be aligned like this. This has to be aligned like this. Never give me the, this diagram here and this, this, the beam here, and this like coming up to here. And this one little, no, the same size horizontally. They have to be synchronized, the three diagrams. The beam, the chair, and the woman, well synchronized. That's why I always draw those lines at the beginning, but well, here, except cover the whole thing, but. Well.